Apollo 8, the U.S.'s bid to make history. Launch astronauts Bill Anders, Jim Lovell, and Frank Borman into space. Have them orbit the moon 10 times. Bring them back to Earth alive. One of the remarkable things about NASA at that time, people that were there all were willing to subordinate every factor of their life, their families, their health, everything, to the success of the mission. We, we three of us were very fortunate to exist and work in that kind of an environment. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. John Kennedy had set the country this challenge in 1961, but despite several preliminary missions and a fatal fire, time was running out. What's more, the Soviet Union was ahead of the U.S. in the so-called space race. Washington was desperate to catch up. NASA got its chance in August 1968. We uh, uh, had intelligence information, I think that Robert mentioned it, uh, that the Russians were going to put a man or men circumnavigate the moon, not orbit the moon, but just go out and circumnavigate and come back. Sixteen weeks later, time to board a Saturn V rocket and leave the Russians behind. It was four days before Christmas. Okay, now we're coming up on the view. We really want you to see us the view of the Earth. And if you'll uh, break for just a minute, uh, Bill's going to put on the large lens. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, I got More on the flight of Apollo 8 in a moment. Yes, the mission was newsworthy. But the Apollo 8 mission also happened at the end of a very rough year in the United States. Both Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Bobby Kennedy had been assassinated. People were rioting because of racism and because of the Vietnam War. And the failure of Vietnam had forced the U.S. president to quit running for re-election. It seemed everyone needed some good news. Maybe not since the Civil War were we so torn apart, so divided, so many people distrustful of so many others, and it seemed nothing could bring us together again. So with chaos in the streets and the highest of stresses at work, finally, the reason for the voyage seen through a window. Suddenly here was this beautiful, fragile looking uh, planet, our own home planet, coming up and particularly is out, uh, emphasized over the stark lunar horizon. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth. A Christmas Eve message from these adventurers, perhaps even more heartfelt than they could have ever imagined. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, Washington.